The World Champion stripes are only worn by a select group and bring heightened status within the cycling community and home country alike. This is the year in the rainbow jersey of cycling's latest champion, Mikhail Kwiatkowski. Turun, one of the oldest cities in Poland, dating back to the 13th century, home to over 200,000 people and birthplace of the astronomer Nicholas Copernicus. And also home to world road cycling champion Mikhail Kwiatkowski. Not a typical breeding ground for elite cyclists, but it's certainly on the up since the rainbow jersey rode into town. You know, it's really, really growing. Cycling in Poland, it's, you know, that. You know, I just feel it on the street. You know how people is reacting, seeing me. I never, I never, I never feel it on my on my skin that I can be recognized so, you know, so uh, so often on the street. And since uh, I win a gold medal in in, in world championship in Ponferrada, everything changed. You know, I thought I thought okay, it's it's huge, it's big, but even I think for Poland it's even bigger. Poland may not be known for its cycling, like other big powerhouse cycling countries, but Mikhail feels it's his world champion status that has brought about a change, a new attraction to the sport. I think in cycling it's, you know, it's not that easy, maybe in Belgium it is, to, to understand how career from the beginning, how, you know, cycling uh, career looks like from the beginning till you sign, I don't know, professional career or you, you take the biggest results. So uh, I'm trying to explain and show a lot of children, a lot of kids how, how it looks, you know, how it, how it was with me, how I started, how, what you have to do to be, to be a cyclist, to, to ride on your bike and, and race. And I actually, when I was a kid, I get a lot of support all the time from, from many of people, from institutions, like from the town, from, from the sports school. And uh, for me, it was natural to, to start academy. Mikhail's commitment to nurturing and inspiring young Polish talent to follow in his footsteps was realized when he started his own academy. Also hosting cycling events in Poland to ensure that the stepping stones are there. When I was a kid, uh, I also participated in, in Mini Tour de Pologne when I could see professional cyclists in the, in the same time when I was racing. So that was, you know, really, as a kid, that motivated me to, to see the, where I can go in, in the cycling, the racing, uh, you know, trying to just step by step uh, going to professional cycling. So tomorrow's race is a big opportunity to uh, to inspire some some kids, to inspire amateurs, uh, you know, about cycling. The academy is helping develop cycling talent in the right way, and Mikhail understands the value of education both on and off the bike. In the academy, you know, we don't put any pressure on on the on the kids that they have to start to. They have to think about professional cycling. And it's, it's not about it. It's more, you know, we are trying to set up everything with, with mostly with the school, so they can really connect sport and the and the and the, and the school, you know, uh, because it's really important that they have extra, uh, they have extra English lessons, or they have English, even Italian lessons. When it, that's not really typical for for that town. That someone uh, speaks uh, or trying to uh, learn Italian and you know we are trying to support uh, them in, uh, in the different ways. In my opinion cycling is really school of life you know. The rainbow jersey may bring with it added weight of responsibility however the elevated status also brings an opportunity to change the lives of those around it leaving a legacy. It's my mission to, to support a cycling in Poland to just say uh, how amazing is cycling, how, how good it is to ride on a bike and I'm trying to support uh, my academy here in, in Torun, in my town, uh, showing the, uh, the children how, how it is to be professional cyclists, how, uh, how beautiful is cycling uh, as a sport and I think it's, it's going better and better so let's hope the, 
the future of cycling is in Poland.